Welcome to Retirement Talk, the show that gives you great wealth strategies that actually work. That's right. I love it. So today we are talking about volunteering opportunities for retirees. We're going to talk about at least 10 of them. And we think these are great because, you know, the one thing you have in retirement is time. Now you need to fill that up. And I know there's a lot of things vying to fill that up, but there's something about being able to give back, Dan. There's something about not having it all just for you, but ways that you can actually benefit and give to other people. And that's very rewarding. It is rewarding. And a lot of people, when they think about giving, it's it's money and it doesn't have yeah. to be money. It's, it's, as you mentioned, it's just time. Mm-hmm. And people People want to know that their life has value. We all want to think that our life has value. And one way to create joy in the value is to be able to give back to others in the form of time and our resources. And so one for me that really hits home is the Nashville Rescue Mission here locally in Nashville, Tennessee. Um, They had a profound impact on the life of my father-in-law and just the joy that they were able to bring to my wife Mandy and the time that she was able to spend with her father before he passed, uh, they get all the credit for. And so we love helping to support them because we can relate to the value that they gave in our life. And so now we want to give back to them so they can do it for other families as well. Yeah, absolutely. There's a lot of great ones out there. And and I know in our business, one of the ones that we like to go to is the food banks and things like this that Uh, You know, you just take food for granted. It's all over our home. It's in the pantry. We're never without some food. And you think of all the people that are uh, underprivileged and and really food to them is something very, very important that they don't just take for granted that, that, you know, there's so many people around these areas that are needing food and if there weren't some of these great programs out there second harvest food bank and that kind of thing where uh they're actually distributing food it's to thousands of families dan that are out there and so it's you know you're giving something life sustaining to someone that we often take for granted and it just seems like our world there's always going to be a number of people that um are not going to have enough. And it's very rewarding to know how much difference uh, this makes in some family's life. Yeah, you're right. And those are those are ours. You need to create your own. And we're going to go through just a quick list of ones that uh, we find are really popular for people specifically towards retirement and things of that nature. One that I've actually experienced uh, in my own life. My wife and I went to Sedona, Arizona, first time there. We're touring around. We go to the Welcome Center. Mm-hmm. And inside there, there's seven different people we talked to, all retired, and they gave us some advice on where to tour. And so being a tour guide, mm-hmm. right, maybe it's a passion in art that you have or a museum that you want to help people with that's one way or national uh, monuments national parks public Mm -hmm. places the need for these tour guides believe it or not is significant and if you have a passion in being outdoors or history and things of that nature that could be a great one to uh, donate time to something like that yeah and i know my wife jenny your mom will never be bored in retirement as soon as i tell her there's opportunities for volunteering (laughs) to hold babies at the prenatal unit at the local hospital. One of our babies, uh, your sister, was born premature. And there were people there that helped out with that. And what a beautiful opportunity to add such a blessing and a smile at your own, on your own face uh, to a family that really needs that and to a baby that needs to be held. And then there's another one. You know, I talked about the food banks and things yep. like this. Hunger relief, Meals on Wheels. There's so many different programs out there, Feeding America, Action Against uh, Hunger. So all of those things are great as well. That's right. Another one, and a big one, I feel like we get hit with this. It's like every other month there's Mm -hmm. a a major disaster. And we just got through the one that hit Florida and even up the coast of South Carolina. And the Hurricane Ian and the devastation. I have a friend in Fort Myers right now. And he's been just spending uh, days and weeks of his time helping to clean up in that area. It's just devastating. Everything is gutted. And so disaster relief, that could be the Red Cross, um, hands and hearts, international relief terms, or even like after devastation, if you have a special skill set that maybe you're a handyman or an electrician, um, 
or just want to be somebody there to help clean up or provide water for other volunteers, uh, there, there will never be enough volunteers out there to help with all of the disasters out there. That's just another one, but one that hits home because it's recent yeah. as well. Animal shelters is another one that they need a lot of help in, and we have people in our office at work for us right now that if they could uh, stop working, that's where they'd be. And so Best Friends Animal Society, Friends of Animals, Animal Welfare uh, Institute, local animal shelters, these are opportunities for you to hold these uh, these little animals and uh, give you a lot of joy and, and make a difference. And then volunteering at a local nursing home. Both of my parents uh, spend time in the nursing home. I was always so happy about all the visitors that came in. Many of them didn't even know my parents, but it meant so much to them. So volunteering at a local nursing home, that will always be something that they will treasure. And then volunteering to tutor kids. Uh, you know, by the time you're retired, hopefully you know a few things. And you like to be able to add value to other people, growing kids that are learning things, and they need tutors. They do, and hopefully uh, you're better at it than I am because the way the kids learn today in mathematics yeah. and things, it's not the same. And yeah. I've tried to teach my kids uh, when they've asked questions, they're like, no, Dad, you can't do it that way. We have to do it this way. So if you have skills in that, please go out and, and give yeah. us some help yeah. and relief in an area that I'm personally struggling with right now with my kids. So. Uh, and then other ones that just target specific seniors, whether it's um, Alzheimer's Foundation of America. Alzheimer's is prevalent. Uh, it's prevalent in our own family. Uh, three out of four grandparents have suffered from that and maybe one left that may or may not. We hope not, but it's it seems to be out there and, and impacting every family. Senior Net, Shepherd Center of America, there's so many out there. Uh, the point is find something that you have passion about. What do you love? Uh, what is it that you want to dedicate your time towards and go out there, volunteer, the time. It's the one commodity that mm -hmm. you, you, you can't get back and it's limited for all of us. So use that time wisely and give back a little bit. Yeah, absolutely. There's no reason to be bored in retirement because there's lots of organizations that need your help. Red Cross, we could go on and on, but we'll stop right there. Thanks again for watching our show today. Hope this has been helpful to you. Uh, be sure to hit the subscribe button to see all of our latest episodes. Uh, Pete Benson with Sun, Dan Benson, retirementtalk.com.